Hey there, home labbers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So today we're gonna to look at setting up Windows subsystem for Linux on your PC. It's not very hard to do, it doesn't take very long, but it's gonna be necessary for some of my other videos, and plus plenty of people I'm sure have just kind of wondered how to do it anyway. So if you're asking what is Windows subsystem for Linux, it is effectively the same thing as running Ubuntu or running like a dual boot system, only it's all inside of Windows. You'll see inside of here, I'm running Ubuntu 2404. The very first thing you're gonna to need to do to get Windows subsystem for Linux up and running on your Windows PC is go to the search bar and you're gonna type in Windows features. And you're gonna see something that says, turn Windows features on or off. Click on that and it will bring up something like this. Now, in order to have Windows subsystem for Linux run and work correctly, you will need to come all the way down to the bottom and you will need to check this virtual machine platform. And then you will also need to check Windows subsystem for Linux. With that, just hit okay. And then after this, you are going to need to reboot your computer. So once you go ahead and reboot that, then just you know hit the play button on this video again. Once your computer is restarted, you're gonna go back to the Windows search bar and you're going to type in Windows Store. And when you bring that up, it's going to bring up something that looks like this. And one of the things you're going to go and what you're gonna do in here is you are just going to type in Ubuntu. This is, of course, assuming that you want to run Ubuntu. There are a handful of different Linux distros, not a lot, but there are a few different ones. And being that it's 2025, I would recommend if folks don't know what the differences are and don't need a specific one, then go for Ubuntu 2404. It is the most up-to-date one that is uh, long-term long support. So go ahead, click on Ubuntu, and then for myself, I've already got it installed, but for other folks, you will see an install button. You will need to go ahead and then install it. Once Ubuntu has been installed, you will of course want to go to your Windows search bar, type in Ubuntu, it will show up. If you want, you can right click on it and say add a taskbar, and then it will show up that little Ubuntu symbol, and it will always be down in your taskbar, able to easily be clicked on. And for new users, once you go into Ubuntu, it will likely ask you to set up a username and a password. Now, you're going to need to remember this because as a, as probably the only user, you are very likely going to be using sudo at different points in time. And in order to use sudo, you will need your password. So go ahead, put in a username and a password. After that, it will go through its install script and it should be up and running. Once you have everything up and running, the very first thing you're going to want to do is sudo apt update. This will pull all of the latest updates for Ubuntu. And then you'll want to run sudo apt upgrade. Yes, please install these things. Once it's finished installing, you now have a clean, up-to-date version of Ubuntu running in Windows that is able to do tasks very similar and virtually identical to how it would happen on a pure Linux machine, but you can do it inside of Windows. So this will become useful later on in other videos that I have that are going to be dealing with setting up comfy UI and things like that. We're going to do it inside of Ubuntu instead of uh, Windows command line. One last little bit. If you'll see inside of here, this actually looks like the command prompt, but this is in fact Ubuntu. 
And when you go inside of here, it'll say, do you want to open a new tab? And you'll see it asks, do I want to be in PowerShell, Command Prompt, Ubuntu, or Azure Cloud? But, you know, nobody uses that. So just in case you are curious, if you end up going and hitting the plus button to open up uh, additional tabs, you might end up in a program that you're kind of not expecting. Thanks so much, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw. I hope this helps some people out. Like all other YouTube channels, you know, liking and subscribing always helps out the channel. While I know this was short and did not cover, frankly, a whole lot, it is important uh, for some people to be able to do this and it will definitely be important in upcoming videos where we will be setting up AI running across Windows. Thank you guys very much and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks. Bye.